Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Unicorns and Typewriters. My name is Skylar and I'm back today with another very exciting booktube video. So I finally just received the November Owlcrate box and I am so excited to unbox it today. It just arrived today and so I thought I'd get a jump on it. Also, I'm having kind of a terrible day so I was like, this will make it better because when do books not make everything better? Uh, so yeah, let's get started and see what is inside. I actually kind of forget what the theme is for this box. I think it's something about dreaming or I'm completely insane and dreamt that. It's a bad joke. Anyway, let us confirm. <laughs> well, that was dramatic. So the card has a really beautiful illustration of a woman sleeping on the moon, which is really pretty. She actually has like a moon, like a tiny moon on her forehead that kind of gives me Sailor Moon vibes, which I am very into. And it is, so the theme is dreaming in the dark. I'm not completely insane. We have the spoiler card. I'm not gonna look at it yet, but we'll go over it later um, if anything is questionable. But yeah, I'm so excited to get started. Oh, so right on top, there is a little card that says delayed item notice. Um, so I knew about this from Alcrate social media. They said, um, due to the supply chain issues, we've had to pack this box without the reading planner. So there will be a reading planner that will be coming later, either separately or in the next box. Um, because I'm still subscribed, it'll probably come in my December box, which hopefully will be pretty soon because this one was delayed. We're going to have a really fun month of getting two boxes this month. It's always sad not getting a box the month before, but it's super fun when you get two boxes in one month. They're gonna be in touch with us about that basically is what this says, which is nice that they include that um, for people that might not follow their social media as closely. So right away, I'm seeing a pin that is really pretty. It looks like mountains with a doorway on it. And it says, one does not realize how powerful a dream is. I can take off the plastic really fast. Here it is without the plastic. I hope you can see that well. Um, I think it is just so cute. So that was a very pretty pin. Definitely a fan. And this was made by Icy Designs. I see two items toward the top. The first thing I'm seeing here is this cute little, oh, it is tape. So it is Dreamer Washi Tape inspired by Strange the Dreamer, which is a book that I have chronically not read. <laughs> Hopefully in 2022. Um, and it's designed with love by Kim Karlika Art. So this looks really pretty. Um, it's hard to see. I can take it out. The box is adorable. You can kind of see it poking out there. I assume it's supposed to stay in here so that you can kind of use this as a case. So I don't know if I should open this box. But yeah, I don't think I should open it. But if you can kind of see, it looks like it's got either owls or moths and books. If you can kind of see that, I'm not sure if you can. But I hate to ruin the box because it looks like it is supposed to be used as like a dispenser. So I'll try to put more clear pictures of this on my Instagram if you guys want to check that out. I'll probably use this tape like in my planner or something so you can actually see it. It looks really adorable. I think it's moths, moons, and books it looks like. Oh, and it's got quotes. I see a quote that says, the dream chooses the dreamer, which is a very strange the dreamer quote. I'm very aware of this book. It is on my shelf right here behind me, but I just haven't read it yet. I have problems, but I really, I really do want to read it. So I'm sure I will really appreciate having this tape once I finally read that book. The next small item that I see on top is a little chapstick, which is really exciting because I was saving my chapsticks for a while that I had in these boxes. And I finally just started using some of them because I was like, what am I saving them for? Um, Cause they're all so pretty, it's so hard to use them, but now I have another one. So I can feel less guilty about continuing to use them because my supply is never ending. This is by Fiction Bath Co, which I believe I have another one from as well. And it is called Dream Walker and it's an Alcrate exclusive. So I'm really unsure what this is referring to. So I'll have to look at the cheat card to figure that out, but I'll let you guys know before the end of the video. All right, the next item I see here is kind of bulky. It looks like something cloth-like. So let's take a look. I'm guessing either a pillowcase or I'm, I'm feeling like it's probably a pillowcase. That's quite common, which I'm excited about. I hope it's a square one. Watch me be disappointed. I really prefer the square ones because then I can use them as like decorative pillows because usually the material they're made of, I would not want to actually like sleep on. So when they're actual pillow sized, I'm a little sad. But anyway, no, I think it's actual pillow sized. 
<laughs> the disappointment. It's only one too, which is interesting because usually when it is these regular sized pillowcases, it is two of them, like a set. So this is a little different. As you can see, the back is totally blank. And it says, to the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered. And it's got that same kind of mountain. It doesn't have the door on the mountain, but it, it's a very similar mountain to the pin. So I'm guessing this is related to the book that came in the box. That would be my best guess. <laughs> but yeah, it's very, it's very nice. So I am excited. I have to find a way to use these like big pillowcases. Maybe I'll have to get like a pillow that I could just put on my bed as decoration that is a big pillow. I just wish it was smaller, but you know, I just can't sleep on this material. But yeah, I'll figure out a way to use it because it's really pretty and I want to. So continuing on, the next item I already noticed immediately is the next tin book in the collection for the V.E. Schwab um, Shades of Magic series. So I believe you can see on my shelf from here, um, I already have the white London tin. So I'll show it just so you guys remember. It's so pretty. I was so sad that I didn't get on this sooner. I missed the other tins. This is the last one. This was the third one. This is the fourth one. They represent the four Londons in the Darker Shade of Magic series or Shades of Magic series. You should totally check out this series if you haven't because it's absolutely amazing. It's an adult fantasy series, so it actually isn't quite in line with my channel where I mostly talk about young adult, but I think like a lot of young adults do read it and also adults, like it's just everyone everyone will love it. That's my feeling. If you're looking for a really fun, really unique fantasy read with sorcerers and pirates, <laughs> 10 out of 10 recommend. Yeah, so let's see what this one looks like. So this one is Black London, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm still reading the last book in the series, the third book. So I feel like I'm gonna be finding out a lot more about Black London in that book. So I hope this isn't super spoilery. I don't think they would do that to us. And so yeah, this is designed in collaboration with Forensics and Flowers, um, along with Outcrate, it's an Outcrate exclusive. Oh, creepy, <laughs> I'm already excited. <laughs> Will I edit out my weird reactions? Who knows? Oh, this is cool. So it says, Osirin rises the plague of the Shadow King. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. The skull has the like road design on it that we see the like kind of map design that we see on the covers of the books, as well as the edges, which are gold. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I'm like, wow, this is awesome. And then it says Vitari on the back, um, which is really beautiful with these two crowns. Yeah, this is really, really cool. I'm really happy to have this. I feel like I have the two evil Londons, like white London and black London are kind of like the evil Londons. And then I'm missing red and gray, which is so sad because those are Kells and Lila's Londons, but maybe I'll get them one day. If anyone wants to sell them to me for really cheap, because I'm pretty sure they're all like really expensive on eBay and other resale sites, let me know. Let me know down in the comments or reach out to me on Instagram. I would totally buy them for cheap if anyone is just like, doesn't really like them that much or doesn't read the series and is looking to get rid of them to a uh, to a good cause. <laughs> Let's check this out. There's usually a quote. I think there's a quote inside. Oh, I thought I was gonna break it. <laughs> so there is a quote and the quote says, Black London, had let magic in, let it take over, let it consume. I think that's actually a quote from the first book. So thank goodness, not spoilery. Um, so that's, yeah, that's really, really gorgeous. And then of course it's just kind of silver in here, but you could store things in here. I'm just using the other one as decor, which is probably what I'm gonna use this one for as well, but I'm so excited to have it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up on my shelf now. Cause I just, I can't even be contained. So <laughs> I don't even know that I really like it there, but it just, it's gonna live there for now. So now we're back to the box. I believe we are at the book now. This has been a really excellent box. Like I love all the items that came in it. I'm so excited to have another one of the tins. So let me take a quick look in here now. So it looks like this book is beautiful. The book is called Dreams Lie Beneath by Rebecca Ross. So that looks like absolutely gorgeous. I don't see sprayed edges, but let's take the plastic off and take a closer look. My sword open. I did it. Okay, yes, looks even cooler out of the packaging. So let's see, so it comes with this little card that is a letter from the author. I'm very excited to have that. I always really enjoy the letters. They're like really insightful and cool little tidbit to know about why the author wrote the book, what inspired them, that kind of stuff. The back is very gorgeous. 
as well as the front. I love all the details, all the little, like there's leaves on the back and it looks like on the front there's leaves, a quill, a book, some little bottles, a knight's helmet. So that's really interesting. Definitely a very cool cover. Okay, so then on the inside, we do have our little um, kind of blip about it, which says the realm of Ezinar has been cursed. Every new moon magic flows from the nearby mountain and brings nightmares to life. Only magicians who serve as territory wardens stand between people and their worst dreams. Clementine Madigan is ready to follow in her father's footsteps as the warden of Here's With. Even though she yearns to study the wilder side of magic, instead she must record townspeople's nightmares so she and her father are prepared for the danger of the new moon. When her father's domain is challenged by two magicians, Clementine is drawn into a century-old conflict. She seeks revenge on one of the brothers who dueled with her father. But as she gets closer to the handsome young magician, secrets begin to rise and Clementine, once keen on vengeance, must unite with her rival and face the realm's curse, which seems to be haunting her every turn. I'm very excited to read this one. I usually also show you guys that it's signed, which it is, which is very cool. She, she also has like a really bold signature. I like seeing what people's signatures are like. I don't know, it's fascinating to me what they choose to do, especially authors, because they always shorten it a bit since they have to sign so many, and I'm always just curious to see what they do. Of course, her last name is Ross, so that's pretty easy. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh my gosh, so let's look at just the book itself first. This is gorgeous, so it's got that kind of knight um, that was on the front cover as well. It's like a knight almost with like a crown on. It's very gorgeous. It's gold foil. And then we also have gold foil on the spine as well. So that is, that is really pretty. And then let's take a look. So the reversal dust jacket. Oh, this is beautiful. It's like a little bent up. I'm such a perfectionist. Um, it's got like a tiny crease and I'm like, no. <laughs> um, so anyway, it has a female and male character that are dressed in very cool, kind of gothic Victorian looking outfits, which I am a big fan of. And it is pretty adorable. I'm very excited. Let's see what's left in the box. I always feel like there's something hiding at the bottom these days. Nope, but not in this one apparently. We just have the booklet and the card for next month. And the booklet matches the spoiler card. And then we get some fun information. Oh, wow. The cover is extremely different. Sometimes it's just a slight difference. But if you guys can see well here, the original, like the, the normal edition, I guess, the regular edition is very different than the Alcrate one. And I'm actually really pleased with the Alcrate one compared to that one. I mean, I like the regular one but it looks like a lot of books look right now i really like the outcrate one so i'm really actually very pleased with that and then oh it is interesting because some of the recommended books of course are strange the dreamer but also sorcery of thorns and i am currently reading sorcery of thorns and absolutely loving it it reminded me of it like just reading that insert this really made me think about sorcery of thorns so it's kind of funny anyway so we've got some information on some of the items um people that make them some other book recommendations that are released this month. And then we have our photo challenge, which I really need to actually take part in this month because I kind of failed on that last month. Whoops. <laughs> I'm gonna try to actually really take part in this because I do actually really enjoy taking part in the photo challenges. And the very last item in the box is the card um, for the theme of the December box, which is Beneath the Waves. So that's a little unusual. Usually that I feel like it's like a summer theme. So yeah, we've got like an ocean theme. It looks like mermaid maybe. There's a jellyfish too. Could be a book about a jellyfish for all I know. I wouldn't be like upset. Anyway, so... <laughs> Um, it says on the back, every December box will include an item designed by Chatty Nora. So that's really exciting because I have the item that is pictured here and I absolutely love it. I'm actually using it. I've been using it to carry around a Sorcery of Thorns, which I'm reading because it is a quote from a Sorcery of Thorns on a, I can never think of what they're called, uh, like a book protector thing. You know, they used to be like book bows, but that's a specific brand that makes them. And I have at least one of those, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's the one I actually have and I've been carrying it around with me recently. So it's really hilarious. Um, and when I started carrying A Sorcery of Thorns in that book protector, I didn't even realize that it was a quote from A Sorcery of Thorns. I was like, oh, this quote kind of goes with this book. And then I was like, oh, it is a quote from this book. Wow, 
um, dense. Regardless, I'm excited to get something else from that artist because I absolutely love that book protector. I carried around with me everywhere. Taking a quick look at the spoiler card, a lot of them were kind of self-explanatory, but the chapstick or lip balm as they're calling it, it says it was crafted by Fiction Bath Co. It's something special for fans of the bone season. We are obsessed with the scent of this sangria flavored vegan lip balm, which sounds really cool. I don't think I have the bone season. I don't believe I have that book. Let me know down below in the comments if you think it is a book worth checking out. Anyway, regardless, the lip balm sounds really nice. Everything else was pretty self-explanatory, but I will get a reading planner that was supposed to be a part of this box. And honestly, this box was packed even without the reading planner, so I'm really impressed. So they do give a little description of the book here, which is usually kind of interesting to see why they picked it. So they say, our book of the month, Dreams Lie Beneath, is a lush and layered story about magic and the captivating power of dreams. Perfect for fans of the Hazel Wood, I really like that one. And The Night Circus. I really need to read that one. Our signed special edition features a completely redesigned exclusive cover designed by Chatty Nora. There is also a reversible dust jacket and artwork created by Drew Gomez on the other side. Our edition also features an exclusive foil case stamp. Author Rebecca Ross also wrote an author letter just for Alcrate subscribers. So that is everything that was inside the November Dreaming in the Dark box. I hope that you all enjoyed watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Comment down below and let me know if you already read this book or already started it and what you think so far or what you thought without any spoilers, of course. And also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. I will be back with another booktube video soon. Have a good rest of your week, everyone. Bye.